We will be exploring um, the power of contrast and the power of blank and white space and how to balance out your page and how to make it um, really full of depth. My whole big reason to make this lesson was to show you that process is, is what really, really counts and how we're in it and how we allow ourselves to let go of some things. And I mean, that's a good metaphor for, for life, right? We, we have to just sometimes accept things as they are. Um, sometimes we don't have much influence on the, uh, the events, but the only influence we have is, is uh, how we react and how we tackle them so whether that's done with peace and um, composure yeah or whether it's done um, slightly panicky <laughs> now with this why do you get a chance to create a real pattern or big round patches of color maybe i mean of white it's all really your initiative here and in all your creativity and as with the one of the initial layers you also get the um the um, uh, choice that's the word it is choice whether you want to blend in some of the edges or leave them very sharp and defined like i quite like that but it's also another way of bringing contrast right so like the edges are really defined here but maybe here i'm just going to wet my paintbrush just a little bit and blend them in making it you know a little bit more interesting adding something different the more contrast you have the more interesting the result is but also the more interesting the process is because you try different things and i think that's sort of what this is all about okay Wow, I'm really loving it. I'm really loving it. Sometimes you have to cover something up to realize how much you love it, right? So I am just really enjoying how these colors look together when there is just that right amount of white placed right next to them. And I think that's, that's the power of contrast. I'm just gonna do one more patch here. Okay, oh, there was some, some red still wet, that's good, it mixed a little bit. Okay, so now you could go back in with some of those lightest colors. So like I have pink and that yellowish beigey color and do a little more mark making, some small shapes, yeah, that could work well in your case. Um, I'm just going to show you how you could do it, but I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of it because I am really excited how this is looking. I love that strong contrast, but let's say you want to do a little bit so you could do some maybe dots or whatever the shape was that you were working with initially. That could be replicated here, right? 